Hey guys, today I'm going to be painting the giant spider from Massive Darkness. Um, this model is kind of unwieldy. You'll see me kind of struggle here, um, just kind of getting the mold lines or, or flash off with my, my razor blade. Uh, these uh, eight legs here uh, really can cause some troubles when it comes to, to filming this. It has an extremely large base, one of the largest I, I have, so apologies for that in advance, but Overall, it's pretty okay. This is sped up, as you can see. Um, it didn't take that long. I didn't time it because I did it in multiple sessions, uh, as I typically do. But uh, I'm just scraping off each one. I don't really like rounded uh, bits anyway, whether it's you know maybe the, the columns from Massive Darkness or these legs, just because it's kind of hard to see every which way underneath it and, and to the side. So I'm turning it around. I'm, I'm kind of looking for every little spot. Uh, I get it pretty close to... To, at least good enough to where I'm, I'm happy with it. But this this does take quite a bit of time. It's one of the most time-consuming parts of it. Uh, there's a few towards the end with some detail work, but but really just kind of cleaning up these models can take quite some time. I don't have a scraping tool or anything like that. Uh, that'd be kind of nice. I'm not sure how well those would go, like where the, um, where the joints are. It's kind of hard to get in there. Uh, so I'm going to start here with some just some purple paint here. I didn't show all the paints. I do apologize for that in advance. Uh, I'll try and think of the the paint color I'm using here and I'll put it in the descriptions below. How about that? I think that'll work out pretty nicely. Uh, but anyway, this is just going to be kind of the the base color. So I'm, I'm only going to show you one side here. I'm just going to show you kind of the bottom and then that that side of it and, and then the head. Uh, skipping along here even, uh, but I'm not going to show the whole thing. It, you know, it doubles the time and really it's pretty symmetrical for the most part. Uh, though actually one thing I do like about this model sculpture wise is it's not symmetrical. So, I mean, there's, you know, four legs on each side, but, uh, you know, it's, it's more raised on the right and then there's one down there. So here's some squid or squig orange, I believe. Um, that's going to be for kind of the, the side, uh, and back of the the roaming monster here. Now it's uh what is it? It's thorax. The the back part that's going to be a, a much darker red color as you can see in that comp set art. But uh, anyway, this is this one's pretty quick. It's not too bad though. I'm going to paint the uh, the front here as you can see, uh, and then kind of it's I don't know. Do spiders have necks? It's it's got a little neck there. I'm gonna gonna paint whatever that that bottom part is. Uh, but that's new, not too hard. Though, as you can see, I'm using a bit of a smaller brush here. It's a little bit harder to get in there. Uh, the crevices in this are, are, are not fun to use. So here's that darker burnt red color I'm going to use on the, on the back. Uh, abdomen, thorax, wh whatever it is. Uh, the nasty looking part. And I'm just going to cover the whole thing. Uh, th it has those spikes that are going to be purple later, but I'm not too worried about it now. I'm certainly going to paint around it. So I'm just going to paint the whole thing. Just kind of get it in there. Again, towards the, the underside there, it's really hard to get into. Uh, I, right now I have it on a medicine bottle and just connected to a, some poster putty, but I'm actually going to get rid of that down the line. It just, there's no real easy way to hold this model and, and get into the nook, nooks and crannies there, but uh, it's not too bad. As you can see, I'm still using the bigger brush. It's not, not terrible. It's more of an angling problem than, than anything. You're just trying to get close to the model and see that. So here's some stormy gray. Uh, this I'm putting on the rocks, I believe is what they are, kind of coming underneath it that it's setting on, which is really the part where it's attached to the base. Otherwise, it's it's pretty free floating. That's really the only point of contact, but it's pretty secure. I like that. Uh, that being said, I'm not going to put this in the description because I end up changing this. Uh, once I start basing, uh, I decide to go against the, the pure gray and actually kind of Give it some color. All right, so this is an agonizing part. It, it, he's got these giant fangs, and while they look like two parts, the concept art showed it all as black, uh, which I think makes it look more menacing too, as opposed to just kind of the tips in black. Um, so I'm going to do that, but this underneath part is absolutely brutal. Um, I I eventually just kind of get fed up with it. <laughs> All right, so now we're back. That was sped up really fast. That was like times 18 or something. But I did get that bottom part, as you can see. 
one last little black and you know the concept art doesn't show the whole model but uh i wanted to kind of tie it in and put it in the back here too all right as you can see now i've taken it off of the uh the prescription bottle so here i'm doing some cantor blue this will not show up very strongly especially because i'm going to shade later um you could probably skip this step honestly i uh i was hoping to maybe kind of blend it but i wasn't wasn't happy with how noticeable it was once it dried and had the shade on it. Um, and I'm going to do a, a kind of a higher highlight. And I'm really roughly highlighting here. I'm not trying to be super exact. Um, it, it doesn't even make much rhyme or reason. As you can see, I'm kind of getting in there. I'm just trying to bring out the joints more than make any kind of realistic highlight here. Uh, the concept art has, it's very kind of almost water painted, bubbly uh, lighting on the legs. And so... I'm not really worried too much about that. On the back legs, they have really fine points there, and I literally just paint a line down it. I'm just just kind of covering it, uh, not caring too much, because again, that shade's going to really help blend it and make it not look too bad. And this isn't even the, the final one. All right, so Nagroth, that's what I used on the regular legs. So I'm just lighting it up with some white. So it's the, the base color plus some white. Uh, and it's it's a, you know, probably a, an 80-20 mix, maybe even a 90-10, a somewhere around there. Uh, as you can see, though, I'm just really drawing all over it, more or less haphazardly. Um, the wash will bring that down a little bit, and then I'll actually bring it back up afterwards. Uh, but just trying to get those, although well, not horns, they're like spikes on the legs and, and the joints, just kind of making it pop out. So it looks really, I don't know, almost cartoony now, which, I mean, you can do, but... I tend to paint a little darker anyway. Um, this may be just be my attempt at trying to lighten it up. As you can see, I'm not going to like it though and darken it, uh, as I typically do. So again, trying to get that little side. I'm only going to show you one side. The other side was the same. Here's some Drushi. I don't know how to pronounce these. It's the purple wash from Citadel. And I'm just going to cover the entire purple part of it. And just kind of cover it. Now, I I again, it looks different wet than when it dries so you'll see it later on and that'll kind of be its more more finalized look uh, getting in that head getting on the back side really anything purple i'm going to cover up uh, so each leg again and i'm not putting a whole lot because it, it's around there's not really a lot of crevices for it to go into and i want to gunk everywhere so i'm pretty much painting this on at this point um, it's kind of a thin layer across across the model here and now i'm going to have to kind of get the the bottom part there. All right, and then I, I ended up putting it on this uh, middle part here as well to kind of tie it up. I'm gonna put another coat on of a, a different wash later on to to kind of darken it, but that that gives it a little bit of a purple hue. So here on this back part, I have never done this before. I couldn't decide if it was furry or if it was kind of, you know, slimy, not slimy, but shiny kind of spider. So what I'm doing is I'm putting it heavy on one side and then bringing the paint and pretty much dragging it across the back. Um, essentially giving it kind of like a wash, I suppose. Um, I'm not even sure what made me think of it, uh, but I do actually end up liking how it looked. Um, so this is, uh, uh, I think it's steel drab brown. Uh, again, I'll put the link below or uh, in the description, but Really, it's it's just kind of a, a adding a slight brown to the outside there. So there you can kind of see how it ended up. And that's not the final bit, but that kind of shows that effect. I thought it looked kind of nice. Uh, so now you kind of just have that burnt red in the background. So here's Evil Sun Scarlet and the white. Um, again, just a little bit of the white. And this I'm dry brushing in pretty much straight lines on the raised parts. So I'm going to add a little bit more. I'm going to go a little bit heavier on it. I didn't like how light it was. It wasn't really noticeable to me. This makes it a slightly closer to the um, middle part there without actually being so. And uh, I don't know. I, I like the color depth. And again, add some color um, to it. So here's the Nolan oil. Here's where I'm just going to decide to darken everything up. Uh, though this was planned. I, I didn't. I didn't think of this after seeing it. I, I knew I was going to darken it up. Actually, I had to go buy that for this. So 
uh, there is that, but that, that'll make it look a little bit nicer. And then I'm actually, I have to get underneath again. Sorry about the angles. This, this mini looks great, but was not painting friendly. I would have much rather have painted this, uh, in, in pieces, right? I, and uh, instead of being pre-assembled, but you know, game pieces don't come like that and that's pros and cons. But in this one, I would have rather just painted all the legs separate. I think it would have been easier. So here I'm adding that Nolan oil to the middle part. Like I said, I was going to go over that to kind of darken it up a bit more. All right. So now I'm basing here. Uh, so I'm just adding some glue to the bottom. Uh, if I was to do this again, I would probably double the amount. I would really glob on that glue uh, just because it, this model doesn't really allow you to press it down on what you're doing. And so it's just kind of lightly set on there. And, and so it, it kind of shakes off a little bit. You'll see towards the end. I think it still looks fine. So I'm still happy with it. But so I'm going to put it in a bowl and I'm going to put some, uh, this is actually cat litter, uh, unused cat litter. Uh, but it looks really nice. Uh, once you paint it, it's kind of the perfect size. I, I kind of pre filtered it to get small. You can buy some terrain stuff and I might do that later just so I don't have to kind of filter my own. Uh, so here I'm going to try and get kind of a little bit of the edges. Um, but as you can see, you get a nice variety of size and shape, which I think is, is pretty nice. So I'm get a little bit of that just around the edges and then just kind of dump it again, recollect it in the bowl. Um, also you could probably base first, uh, I don't know if there's a pro and con to one or the other. All right, so here you can see how the model is now. I think he's looking pretty good, but as you can see, some bits of that basing comes off. Definitely need more glue. Here's the Evil Sun Scarlet. This is for the eyes. I didn't count how many eyes I painted. I just went and painted where it kind of looked like. These models are pretty well detailed and, and you know, quite nice looking. Um, However, it is kind of hard to tell an eye versus maybe a, a nose hole in the front or uh, those spiders have nose. I don't know. I just kind of painted where I thought they might be or where they kind of looked like. Here's some Nagrath Knight. This is for um, the little spikes in the back. So when painting a model, it, it's always great to add color. You know, don't get me wrong there. But it, it's when you get to paint these little details that, that pop out that you don't necessarily see when it's just plain plastic. I think that's what, that's the best part of painting these models is just kind of getting in there. So I'm, I'm painting this pretty loose, actually. Um, I didn't find it that hard to not go over. The bumps are pretty noticeable. There are some like little tiny specks, the little dots you can see there. Um, but again, it's pretty easy to do. I just kind of pop them on and not too bad. I think so you see there's some, there's some dots there. And I actually end up putting too much on the side. And so what I do is I just add some water to my brush and then spread it around. And now you can see it from that side. I think it actually looks pretty nice. So happy accident there. There's some of that uh, red with some white mixed in for the little tips in the eyes. So now I'm taking that blue that I used and adding some white. And now I'm dry brushing uh, pretty much the entire leg. <laughs> there's, not a, there's not a big space between the spikes and not spikes. So now we're getting the Cantor blue and some of that gray and then a tiny bit of the silver host silver there. Um, I probably said those names wrong. I apologize. Really only about 10% silver and then a, you know, 45, 45 mix of the other ones. So pretty much half and half of one and then add 10% of the silver. Um, this is what I've been basing my units for massive darkness in. Uh, I think it, I don't know, I find it as kind of a happy medium between the, if you look on the game board itself, it kind of has some blue purplish tones, but then it's still gray and you have one or the other. This kind of fits both depending on where the model is. Um, and, and again, as you can see, some of the pieces actually came off here when painting it. Uh, I did wait, uh, after gluing it. The, it, the glue was dry. It just wasn't, it wasn't a whole lot holding it down. Um, again, I think it, it actually looks okay, but you know, could have been a little bit better. All right, here, I'm going to add some Necron compound as a dry brush. Um, I really like how this makes the, uh, their individual pebbles really pop. It really, I think at, uh, the game board, you know, length away from, from the model, you can really tell that it's gravel, not just, you know, kind of a fuzzy 
uh, textured base or something like that. So, but it is kind of silvery. Uh, so let me know if you guys think that's silly or not. So here I'm going to add a gold band. I add um, gray to minions, uh, black to bosses, silver to agents, and gold to roaming monsters. So I'm just going to kind of troll that around. And I have the picture up there so you can kind of reference where I was going with this model. And uh, I don't know. I think I got pretty close to it. Um, but yeah, l let me know what you think about that basing. That's really my most um, iffy kind of addition because it does make it rather shiny. Mind you, I did... Um, and you'll see the final product soon. I did do a gloss varnish on the whole thing and then covered up the the uh, actual model and poster putty and then made the base a mat. Uh, though covering the legs and poster putty and taking that off was not fun. It, it, it ruined the base and I had to fix it. And really painting this wasn't that fun. It wasn't as enjoyable just because of all the weird angles. It was hard to film. It's kind of hard to paint, you know, kind of some some odd angles and weird brush holding and, and just kind of a, a more difficult model to paint but I think in the end it turned out all right guys let me know in the comments below what you think of that base or maybe just the model in general or the game it belongs to I will be painting more roaming monsters and heroes and whatnot from massive darkness so be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see that like the video if you enjoyed it and as always so long and thanks for all the fish